Hey, oh, a smart magic apple. <laughs> We have a lot of tech going on. <laughs> a way more tech than we are what? capable of. That's here. right. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Thursday Look Night Sing for Your Supper. Look at our. I'm not. You can tell we're not at Kevin's house because it's not nearly as nicely decorated. <laughs> but I did buy a variety of apples. And we'll talk about colors. those. Yeah, we're, we're going to talk about. They're all those. different kinds, used for different things. We'll talk about. Yeah, those. we're going to talk about those. Ooh. Doing? I'm good. How was your week? It was, you know, another week. Another week. Another That's day right. is it ended in Y, and here we are. <laughs> here we are. Here we are. Two weeks is a big, good gap. It is a big it gap. Like a long time, yeah, but it's so good it's to good be to back. All. Yeah. All again. And it's all about apples because apples, it's apples, apples. almost fall. It's that time of year. It's time for my annual trip down to Lewisburg. And, yes. Yeah, I got to go. Uh, and it'll, of course, like everything else this year, it will be different. It will be different. It will but be different. apples are apples, and are they're apples. delicious, and they're very. They can in a myriad of ways. Been around since the beginning of time. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. So what are you doing tonight? Well, I'm going to jump in. I was mentioning earlier that this could almost have been one of my $10 meals. Oh, really? Because it's a fairly simple recipe, but it's so delicious. And my Our cameraman and hubby will testify it's one of his favorite things. Wow. Um, so it is a pork in the in the crock pot with some apples. Or all for ten dollars. Well, I was told there'd be no math again. Okay. I'm going to say it's an economical meal, and right. yes, it's just the one. Just one. Maybe, maybe oh, you wow. could get some veggies. And anyway, we're going to we're going to jump right into that. One for ten dollars instead of three or four. Well, I find, <laughs> I find when you buy the pork tenderloin uh -huh. at Price Shop or wherever, yeah. there's usually two in there. That's true. So of course I've made one earlier. Mm. So I'm going to show you how to do this one. Now at Costco, when you buy the pork tenderloin, there's six of them in there. Oh. So that's why it could be very economical. Okay. That's great. So to prepare, I have, this is the inside, my crock pot. And I always give a little spritz of the cooking spray. Not really when I'm doing anything in it. This jumbo size cooking spray. It is. Oh. I thought you meant my crock pot. Well, jumbo size crock pot too. That is, it is. That's the big nice. step here. So that's going to be ready. Okay. My pork tender one, like I said, normally there's two in here, but we've got the one. I have uh, rinsed it off, patted it dry, salt and pepper. Okay. Nice. And it's going in the crock pot. Can you do this with pork chops as well? Oh, I think you could. So then it would be pork chops and apple sauce. Can anybody tell us what that TV show? Oh my God! Who can't tell us what TV show and that was? The actor who spoke that line, of course, I oh. had a little crush. Oh wow! I think a lot of us liked that sibling. That's a clue. Sibling. That's a clue about that show. Okay, my pork tender one put in there. Now that is sliced, sliced, not diced. What the, slice. does it slice mm -hmm. like that? Okay. White onion, or does it matter? Doesn't matter. White onion, red onion, or white onion, yellow onion. I don't know if I do red. I think the yellow onion is a sweeter onion than the white. Mm -hmm. So it might be good because yeah. the apple makes it a little sweeter. So I have a package of dry onion soup mix. Onion soup mix solves all the problems of the world. It really does. That and sour cream. Sour cream. And I was just listening to a podcast and they're like, onions are just like the best. You can't cook without onions. No. They add flavor no. to everything. Mm -hmm. They are they just don't get the attention and credit. They don't, but I they love deserve. onions. I do too. I love onion rings. Onion and everything. Raw onion, mm -hmm. cornbread, love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can eat a little bit of raw onion. Mm -hmm. and my dad can really. Okay, this is a half a jar of apple jelly. Oh. Okay. That's Did you make that yourself? Uh, no. Okay. I purchased this. I just want you to get all the credit that's due you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Me too. Me too. So that's in there. Okay. And then what I have is about a third a cup of water with some bouillon. You could just do broth, beef broth, vegetable broth, chicken broth. Really, it's kind mm. of your call. We're going to pour that in. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. Melt the bouillon, then it kind of melts the jelly too. So you're just going to put that in and mix it all up. It's really easy. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. 
pretty much it. Really? I love that. And let me tell you, it is easy and delicious. Well, no, I mean, that's it for this part. There's a couple more things. Oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, I thought we were done. Not quite. Not quite. I was ready to move on. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I know you wanted to talk more about our first president and his... Um, Oh yeah, so Wood the shopping. apple tree. The apple tree. I'm yes. sure you you fact checked that. That might be fake news. I, I don't know. I'll, I don't I'll know. check it. Tomorrow. All right, check it. Okay, so when that's all mixed up, all you need to do is pour it on top of your pork. Oh, that looks great. Get the onion. Okay. You know, pork is really lean meat. It so is. So the other you, white meat. Yeah, you want to add the moisture mm -hmm. and with the water and the bouillon a little bit. Now I chopped up two apples. You can use any kind. I love Honeycrisp. I love the tartness. Mm -hmm. Those are going in there. There goes my onion. Mm. Goes on top. Okay. And you could just give it kind of a little stir. Now what I do is cook it. Like I said, normally there's two in here. Mm. Two hours on high. Then I just lower it down to warm or low. Let it cook another hour or so. And that's it great. is finished. And that's it. It's so easy. That's great. I love crock pot meals. Mm -hmm. So easy. So I'm going to go put this on my crock pot. Okay. And then voila, I might have something to show you. Just All right, great. Minutes. That's a um, super easy thing to do. You could probably do that in an Instapot too, couldn't you? I do, but I don't use it very much. So I can't really tell you a lot about Instapots. But, but no, I'm, I'm sure you could. Super. Um, yeah. What what's on deck for you? What's on deck for you? What do we need to talk about? Well, I'm. Let's start rolling our dough for our French apple pastry that we're going to make. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Um, oui, oui, I've already chef. made the dough. This is the same recipe that we used in our very first episode. It's so easy. It's only five ingredients, but at the same time, I've already made the dough. It is two cups of flour, and we'll include the recipes, of course. Two cups of flour, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and uh, two tablespoons of sugar. And you put that in the food pr uh, oh, processor. I was about to say, this is the one in the yes, food processor, yeah. but it's so easy. So easy. Put it in the food processor to mix it up. Then you put 12 tablespoons of butter, chop it up into quarters, How put it in there. 12 tablespoons. Yes, We yes, have a little yes. butter incident we making pastry yes. once. But we don't do that anymore. <laughs> we do our own pastry. We're professionals That's right. now. That's right. We never make so 12 tablespoons cut into quarters into the dough. Um, let pulse it about 12 times so it becomes like a um, little coarse, like pea-shaped. And then you take ice cold water. You can put the ice cubes in it, into the water, and, and you uh, put three or four or five tablespoons, whatever, to make the dough come together. Mm -hmm. And then you put it into a little packet like this, put it in the refrigerator for about an hour, and then you're ready to go. Oh, it looks perfect. So what I do is when I'm forming my dough, Whatever shape I'm going to do, I try to do it in the uh, refrigerator, the same ah, shape. So if I'm going to do a pie crust, I do a round one. Smart. Yeah, so it makes it go a little bit faster. May I sprinkle a little Please do as I on take the work surface? on the work surface. So we don't have any stickage. Absolutely. And so you can stickage. see the butter in there. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is beautiful. All right. And we need our cold oh, rolling pin yes. that has been in the freezer. We're going to roll this out to about 10 by 14. My marble one, and it's nice and cold, and then it keeps your dough cold. Oh, good. Which is exactly so you don't want oh. your butter. We don't want our butter melt. to melt. All right. We I'm going to hold this for Okay. You. He doesn't know his own strength. I don't. But while we're rolling this while we're rolling this yeah. out, let's talk about our first show of the evening. Our first and only. <laughs> well, we have one more we can talk about. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I um, and Vita... Be to guessed it. Uh, the apple tree. I bet there's a lot of people out there who've never seen it. I've never seen the entire thing. Um, but it's a lovely show by Harnick and Bach, who are a little more famous for writing Fiddler on the Roof. Yes. But it's uh, three vignette musicals. And the one that's probably the most famous is The Diary of Adam and Eve. Turned it into added music, which and that was written by Mark Twain. Um and the second one is The Lady of the Tiger. And mm -hmm. then the third one is Passionella. Now, I'm going to just fess up here and see. I've seen The Diary of Adam and Eve. I haven't seen the other ones. Oh, okay. 
But uh, it opened in 1966, had a pretty darn good director named Mike Nichols. Hmm, sounds familiar. Yeah, he's, he kind of knows what he's He's got doing. a Tony or two under his he's belt. He's got a, I may have been a close to an EGOT kind of guy. Yes, very close. But what, uh, what was interesting was the one of the people who auditioned for the show was Dustin Hoffman. Oh, can I get a little more flour on oh, my board, on my uh, pen here? Thank you. But Dustin, not a singer. Not a singer. Not somewhere. a singer. So they said, oh, we're going to need somebody who can sing better. So they got Alan Alda. Did he audition for the role of Adam or Eve? Because, you know, he did Tootsie. I mean, the part. Dustin Hoffman? Yes. I think he, and he also tried out to be a tomato. Oh, yes, that's right. Um, he had to stand. The tomatoes don't true. stand. Anyway, I think the interesting thing was Mike Nichols was so impressed with Dustin Hoffman that he then turned around and made the film The Graduate, and he cast Dustin Hoffman. The rest mm. is history. rest is history. And oh. um, one of the people in the ensemble in the original cast, Robert Klein. Robert Klein. Really you love Robert Klein. Barbara Harris was the female. She won the Tony Award for that role. Me, Tony, Tony, Tony. Tony, Tony. Oh, look at that. We got to talk about the dough because yes. it's so pretty. Do you want it's a, a little, little spatula? It's a little warm. Yeah. yeah I'm going to take that out of your way. Can I help I you? Right. Right. Just gonna roll right. it. Yeah, I'm just going to roll it over here. You can roll it around the pin. That's what I'm planning to do. Um, a little, little tip to keep it. And if that's too heavy, I can get you a that's, different rolling pin. It's good. We have many, many rolling pins. Just got to get started here. All right. Oh, there we go. that's pretty. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. We made it. Yay. Yay. All right. Look a little rustic, which is okay. So here we go. That's what it looks like. I've got a sill pad here on the bottom to keep it from sticking. Mm -hmm. Love our pads. Love I rustic. I've out about an eighth of an inch to a half inch thick. Yeah. Uh, sorry, eighth to a quarter inch thick. So we're all ready to put our apples on. Will you hand me the wood mm -hmm. with the apples? Mm -hmm. Look at those. Mm -hmm. What kind of apples are these? These are Granny Smith apples. And let's talk about. Did you grow them yourself? I did not. Okay. Granny Smith did. Miss Granny. We hand me the board too because I need that one last apple. Let's talk about. It. Well, we'll get back to the apple tree in a minute. Let's yeah. talk about actual apples. I always wear black when I have flour now. It's you, all over me. Isn't that lovely? Oh, look! Are you gonna? Oh, don't just wipe me off. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Okay. I this is why the flower would not show, well, but we'll true. just put that that's back in here. We're almost done with flower anyway. All right. So we're gonna need we need four Granny Smith apples, and I've got three of them ready. And this is the last one. I just want to show you how we core it. Just slide that in there, and we pull the core right out. And we're ready to cut it up. So easy. Yeah. So easy. What kind of product is this? That's from Pampered Chef. And I really? love it. And oh. then, oh, look, it has a little release. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really like a great. little crocodile. Yes. Arr, arr. I'll put the link on there. So we're going to take each one, uh, each half of the apple. We want to cut it at the same size. So they the cook same size? Just the same? <laughs> yes. Okay. Put the toys away and come back to me. So we have four of these apples. I'm going to have you help me. Okay. Once we get this one. Cut so up. why why did you choose Granny Smith? Because it's tartar, and uh, oh, Granny, yeah, Granny's tart. And you're going to see in a moment why we want tart apples for this. Okay. Because some uh, apples, you know, break down. That's usually. what I was going to say, and this holds together a lot better. She's tart, but she's stern. She's stern. She's strong. She holds yeah, it together. She does hold it together. Yes. I like that in an apple. All right, so our apples are ready. Mm -hmm. You don't need to put any lemons on it because you're going to put it right onto here. Right onto the dough. Uh huh. So what okay. we're going to do is we're going to overlap these, and we're going to do a diagonal first, diagonal this way, okay. and then we're going to fill in. So okay. we want to overlap them just a tad. And this is going to have a sort of rustic look to it. Now you're doing a diagonal. Uh, yeah, that's what I just said. Did you? I did. <laughs> so we're gonna do There's a, a pandemic on. I cannot be responsible <laughs> for things I heard three seconds ago. Okay. Hey, let's do a hey, diagonal. There's a diagonal. 
You don't have to do a diagonal. You could do it however you want. The I just, diagonals are pretty. That's how I do it. Okay, I like it. I like it. So if you want to start another diagonal there, that would okay. be fantastic. Save us a little bit like of time. Like here? Second. Yeah, did you want to just go ahead and start it right here, All and right. then we'll fill that in later. Okay. Okay. So save your little pieces for later. I don't want to, you know, cause issues. No, there's no issue. There's never an issue. Okay, so let's go back while we're filling this in with our talking about our shows. Oh, so I was um, the woman who originated was um, Barbara Harris, and she won the Tony. It was up for some other Tonys. It was up for. Best show, best director, best choreography, best score, best costumes. And uh, I'm not sure Alan was nominated. I'd have to go back and look for that. But you don't happen to know anybody who was in the revival, which was in uh, 2007. Oh, yeah. Bri Brian Darcy James was in it. He was. He was. He was. And, and do you know who the, played the snake? Uh I did, oh yes, I do know Mark Kudish. Uh, yes. yes, yes, and he was he was dating someone famous at the time. Was he? Yes, I think she was in the show too. That would come be come on. We're gonna name drop <laughs> Kevin's friend, Kristen Chenoweth, the person who sent us cookies when yes. we were in New York. Yes, yes, Kristen Chenoweth, and you know, I think I read something about the review where they said. You know, it's it's really a sweet show. The music's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's just, you know, one of those shows that maybe hasn't stood the test of time. Right. And that happens. It's just hard to... Yeah. I'm going to let you fill these in because, okay. because it's your tart. Don't right. touch another person's tart unless invited. Let's talk about the trivia question that we talked about before. Oh, it's uh, a good one. Yeah. It's a good one. Okay. Kevin came up with it. So, the actor, the original actor, an actor in the original show and an actor in the revival were both in a TV show together. You know what TV show it was? Anybody? And it's one of my favorites. It's one TV of my shows. favorite too. And I just rewatched it. Did you? And you know, they're going to do, here's another hint. They're going to do a live yes. reenactment of one of the episodes on HBO as a kind of get out the vote. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just gonna let you do that. <laughs> I want. I fully really try, but I, I don't want to mess it up. You're doing fine. It's just it's very rustic. Can rust you read it, honey? Can you it's read that It's rustic. Comment? Somebody get it, the answer. Somebody guess the answer. Oh, it sure is pretty. All right, I think we're ready. Ooh, to go. that looks good. All right, so we're gonna put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 50 minutes, and what we want to do is we want to rotate it. At the end of 50 minutes. Mm, it's pretty. All right. I'm going to put one more down here. Okay. And then we're going to put this in the oven if we want to get this out of the way. Uh, yes. Yes, Chef. Okay. Yes, Chef. Okay. So, There's our cameraman. Here, I'm going to. I have to touch the screen, everybody. I want to show you a chart on my computer. So I'm going to get a computer out. <laughs> we're still here. We're still here. Yeah. We're going to talk about the sweetness of apples. And I would say I have. Look at my beautiful. Okay, I've got a Honeycrisp, one of my favorites, and then I have the Pink Lady, which I call the poor man's Honeycrisp because usually they're cheaper than Honeycrisp, but almost just as tasty. This is a Golden Delicious, and this is what Kevin was using, Granny Smith. Mm -hmm. so you can tell they're a little bit. The colors there. Mm -hmm. What do you got there? Can Kevin? we zoom in on our little chart here? Oh, look so at that. this is a chart I've Googled, and it's the chart of apples from the most bitter to the most sweet. So what is the most bitter? Well, tart. I think tart. tart. Well, bitter. tart. Tart's fine. Granny. It's all Granny. Granny Smith. That's right. And what's the sweetest? And the sweetest is a Fuji. Let me. It's hard to do this upside down. Oh, Fuji. Fuji. Gala. Yeah. That's right. Look how many types of apples. I'm always amazed. Um, always amazed <laughs> when I'm at the store. How many apples? Yeah. Yeah. I know they're always doing varieties and so things. So let's put these in order from most tart to most sweet. Honey crisp is pretty sweet. That's the sweetest. We know that oh, Granny. Have. This is Granny. Granny is tart. <laughs> tart. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say pink's going to go close uh -huh. to this. And then this is golden delicious. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's now, right. what would be good for a pie? 
let's 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 open us up again. I, s- our heads. I still think that Granny Smith is good for a pie. But I don't even want to uh, you like, could you could be radical and mix them. You could you could. Yeah. Um, I like to use Granny Smith too because I like cinnamon in mine. My mother just made an apple pie and she put so much cinnamon in it it was almost brown on the inside. But she likes lots of cinnamon. And I don't. So that's what we get. Okay. Well, that is interesting. And yeah. um, I, I just love all kinds of it. caramel apples, apple yeah. pie, apple mm-hmm. crisp. And you know, there's something about apple and pork, and it really does go, it complements each other so well. So a lot of times you'll see pork chops and applesauce or the apples right. of the pork tenderloin or a chutney served with pork loin with that apple in there. And I don't know if that's some things just go really well together. <gasps> not, not yet. I just let it go for just a second. And then we're gonna put just let it get warm because we're gonna put sugar on it. This is why we don't put a lot of okay. sugar into it. We're gonna we're gonna do this while you do that. Well, we're gonna have to put it down because oh, I'm gonna pour okay. sugar on it. Okay. okay? I think yes. we're good. All right. So this is a half a cup of sugar, and we just sprinkle it on the top. And do you do this before you put it in the oven? Or are you uh, letting it bake a little? I bit? let it bake bake just a little bit, just so it can kind of set the apples can set into the um, pastry. Okay. I mean, you can do it either way. But no cinnamon in the sugar. No cinnamon in the sugar. You can if you want to. I just don't. Okay. Let's see how much sugar that is. It looks like a lot. But we want it to caramelize on the... uh, Yeah, but a half a cup's not... It's not... It's still coming out, though. (laughs) Well, maybe it is a lot of sugar. It's a lot of sugar, but it works. And then, if that weren't enough, we're going to take a half a stick of butter, and we're going to dab it with... Add a half a stick of butter. Just half a stick of butter. You want to help me put those on there? Oh, I do. I washed my hands earlier, so I'm all set. Let me take a she washed her hands this morning, so we should be yeah, good. Yeah, fine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just dot them all over the pastry. Dot, dot, dot. Now, did you have any other shows that featured apples? Well, there that? is another show that's along the same theme as the apple tree, and that would be Children of Eden. That's true. And when we did Children of the Snake. Yes. When we did Children of Eden at the park, um, our props designer designed the apple so it would light up when they touched it. So it was really cool. Oh, very nice. All right. So we're all yeah. set now to finish that off. Put that back into the oven. What's it going to look like when it comes out? And to the magic of TV. Woo! There oh, we have it. Oh, my. It's beautiful. Yes. And you know what? I love the diagonals. Yeah, I think it works out really well. You can see it, it shrinks just a little bit, so you want to make sure your apples overlap so you can get that shrinkage. We know about shrinkage. Yeah, and also, you see it's brown on the sides. You absolutely want that to happen, okay? It's okay. going to get brown. And, and the how apples, long did you bake it? 25 minutes, then we switch it around, and we do 25 minutes, 25 minutes more. Almost an hour. Yeah. That's a lot of, that's a long bake. It is a long bake. Mm-hmm. Um, let's talk about how we make it shiny. If you remember our first episode, we talked Rub about it. <laughs> no, we don't. No, we don't rub it. We are going to take a half a cup of apricot jam, and I've put a special ingredient, two tablespoons of rum oh. in here. So I'm going to warm this up real quick on the stove. Okay. I'm thinking of shows that feature rum. I'm thinking of Guys and Dolls, where they go down to Cuba. Is that where they yeah. go? Now, I think she gets a little tipsy she does. on her rum. The <laughs> Oh, and that's a show Kevin loves. I love that show. Molasses to Rum to Slaves. Yeah. Another great, great show. 1776. Yes. yes. So I'm going to. By Peter Stone, not Roger Stone. Yes. I will not make the same mistake again. So, how long do you keep that up? Just until it melts, which is almost already there. Ooh, that's fast. Could you put that in the microwave? You probably could. It's just easier to do it this way. Okay. And if you want to be really picky with it, you can strain it because it's just a little um, little well, apricot pulp. Yeah. I wouldn't mind it honestly, but no. would you like a strainer? No. Okay. Right. okay, okay. That probably gives it just a little bit more sweetness. Yep. On top. And you're good. And it does make it shiny. Here, I'm gonna get you. You and you see how, you can, I don't know if you can see that or not, see how mm-hmm. liquidy it is? Actually, let me pour it in here. Oh, very nice. 
Then I'll give you that. Yes, yeah, chef. Okay. All right. And then we just take, I use a big brush on this, and we're just going to brush the whole thing with the apricot. Oh, you, it's kind of nice because you can see, I'm just going to hold it up. Where he's done it, it already, you can see the shine on it. And it's so pretty. And it dries almost instantly. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Now, would you serve this with a topping? You can. I think it's so pretty that you really don't need anything else. Okay. And you can do... No you, ice cream, no whipped cream. You don't really need that because it's the simplicity of it that really makes it great. It is. It, is. it looks so pretty. Yeah. And sometimes, and, you know, in the fall, you have heartier meals. Yeah. Exactly. So a lighter, simpler dessert would be perfect. And this can be as, pretty much as many servings as you like for it to be. So this is two. <laughs> for you, All for right, me, it's Chris. one. It's three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Well, you know what? While you're finishing that up okay. through the magic of TV. Yes. Let's see what you got. My pork is finished. Yay. Um, that was a quick three hours. The apples cooked down. The onions cooked down. Oh, look at that. And look at and that. And the bowl turned white. Yeah. Turned it clear. smells so good. Um, that's yeah. why you want... You don't want to put a lot of liquid in it. It creates some liquid, and the apples add to that. One thing you can do, if there's a whole, if it just seems like a lot of liquid, strain it out, and I boil it down a little bit and well, let it get a little idea. thicker that's and use it idea. as your gravy or your sauce on the side. And it's it's got the onion and the seasonings from the soup mix, and it's got the apples, and oh, it is so delicious. And it, it smells great. Let me tell you, Chris and I can polish off one pork tenderloin in an evening. Well, so I hope there's enough for you. I do too. You can fill up on the tart. I'm not going to give you tart unless I get pork all tenderloin. Right, all right. Well, what do you serve with the with the pork? Oh, a nice salad. A, a nice, little crusty bread. And how do you tie that in with the apple theme? You put apples in the salad? Yes. You know, I have this um, fall salad that we eat constantly. Chopped apples, mm -hmm. cashews, oh, some nice. craisins, some Parmesan cheese, and then a poppy seed dressing. And it is so good. And you know what? I That's just a bonus. I'm going to put that dressing recipe on the oh, nice. website because it is so good. And it's great in the fall. Oh, and there's the tart. There's our dinner. Do you want to try a little bit? I was going to say, we need to try it. Let's get a knife so I can cut the tart. It's red like an apple. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, we have green apples too. We do. Oh, it's so pretty. Let's see a little. Let's see a little bit of pork. Some of the apple. And the apple cooks down, and I leave the peel in there. And it's not a problem. I like it that way. I usually get. <laughs> Obviously, do one more because these are pretty big pieces. Yeah, but they just look about right to me. <laughs> so. You could cut it again and do uh, sixteen pieces if you wanted to do that. So I'm going to cut this again for us. Okay. That sounds good. Boy, I can't wait to try it out. Oh, there we go. Just one. Mm. You know, I have to say, a little a little dollop of whipped cream yeah, sure. would be pretty on um, top. If you're going to do whipped cream, I'd do a little dollop there and then put a like a piece of lime, uh, not lime, a piece of um, little sprig of, sprig of mint, or something. mint. Yeah. There is oh, your pork. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. It does. Okay, here we go. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Delicious. Mmm. Oh, okay. So very sweet. Mm-hmm. But the onions in there kind of balance it out. Just get the hint of the mm -hmm. onion. It's not yeah. overpowering at all. Mm. And I love the baked apples in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so good. good. Love that. Now the falls are on the corner. You have an easy crock pot meal. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wonderful. Love it. I'm going to try my tart. I don't mean you. <laughs> <laughs> You're go. so clever. Oh, I can't help myself. 
I love this pastry yeah. recipe. I'm telling you, it comes out perfect I'll every you are the pastry single time. King. Here we go. Well, you find the right recipe. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Flaky, mm -hmm. soft. I love that apricot on top. Mm -hmm. And it says apple. You can't miss it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah, I really like uh, that. Let me have one more bite. Mm. And it's really, you think it's going to be really sweet with all that sugar that we put on, mm. but it's really not. It's not. And if you wanted to cut back, we could. Absolutely. I mean, make okay. it your own. Mm -hmm. So we'll post the recipes and they'll be on the mm -hmm. website tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Well, not the website, but Facebook page. Our Facebook page. Someday we'll have a website. Oh, we'll this, was this was fun. We learned so much about apples. Now, no. in two weeks, two weeks, some, something's happening, right? Somebody's getting older. Well, we're all getting older. <laughs> But I think you mean specifically. Specifically me, yes. Someone's maybe having a birthday. Yes. So we're doing some of my favorite things for my birthday. Raindrops on roses and whiskers yeah. on kittens. I can guarantee that none of those things are my favorite. Okay. Yeah. We're so. going to make a couple of dishes that mm -hmm. Kevin really likes. Yes. So turn in to find out. And I think what we should feature is maybe, since you talk about shows you don't like a lot, uh -huh. <laughs> we talk about shows you really My like. My favorite shows? Your okay. favorite shows to go with your favorite things. I think, like an Oprah episode. That would be so good. All your favorite things. Yes. And if you come, you might get something for free. Who Ooh, knows? I love it. Thanks for joining us, everyone. We'll see you next time. Have a great fall. Bye-bye.